So the story begins showing the American sergeant, Mattis and his spotters, Sergeant Isaacs. This was the time of 2007, when America had won the war with Iraq. That's why the president of America restarted the ongoing pipeline construction in Iraq. But still some terrorists from Iraq were killing Americans. Also the people working at this pipeline site were killed by the terrorists. So the government sent Matthew and Isaac to kill the terrorists before sending new builders to the site. Here Matthews and Isaac, hiding behind bushes and rocks, keep watch over the site. 20 hours pass like this. But they don't see anyone there. Then Matthews tells Isaac, I think there are no Iraqi soldiers left at the site. Also, seeing the bodies lying there, he thinks that the Iraqi soldiers have left after killing their people. So now there will be no one on the site. To which Isaac says that there is not a sign of any Iraqi group being here far and wide. And killed all the workers by giving headshots. Which may be the work of Iraq's professional sniper Juba. But Matthews thinks that no sniper can kill so many people at once within 30 seconds. After which Madhouse gets tired of waiting for that sniper, so he goes down to check, asking Isaac to cover. Then Isaac tells that clear is not visible in my scope. Because of which I will not be able to cover you. To which Matthews is about to change his gun, mocking him. But this gun was very valuable to Isaac. Because it was his dead partner's gun. Here Madhouse sees that everyone is dead from headshot. That's why he believes Isaac's words, that Zuba is the one who killed everyone. After that, Mattis goes to the center of the site to find out where Zuba was hiding and shooting people. But Isaac tells him to back off, as he suspects that Zuba is still hiding somewhere. Then suddenly someone shoots at Matthews. Due to which he goes to the ground. Seeing this, Isaac escapes from the bullets and goes to save his partner. But then the sniper shoots Isaac in the leg, injuring him too. So he hides behind a broken wall to save his life. Here Isaac tells Matthews that if you move, he will shoot you. That's why keep pretending to die quietly. On which Matthews asks him to call the backup as soon as possible. Here Isaac was bleeding profusely from a bullet wound in his leg. So he ties a belt to stop her. After which he picks up his radio bag to contact the army base. But he finds that his radio is out of order. Upon checking it, it is discovered that the sniper has damaged the radio's antenna by shooting at it. Meanwhile, Matthews asks Isaac to track down the sniper so he can target him. To which Isaac warns that the sniper is noticing every movement. And if you try to do anything, he'll shoot you. Here Isaac tries to make a hole in the wall with his knife, so that he can see the sniper with his scope. But then the stones of the wall fall, injuring his hand. Meanwhile, Matthews tries to reach for his rifle, but due to excessive bleeding, he faints on the spot. Isaac, on the other hand, removes the bullet lodged in his leg with a blade, which leaves him in great pain. But he somehow takes out the bullet and ties a bandage on his wound. But he faints due to the pain. Some time later, when Isaac wakes up, he hears a strange sound through his earpiece. On checking which he comes to know that this voice is of his base officer. So he immediately calls them for help. But the officer starts asking Isaac strange questions, which makes Isaac suspicious. Then the officer says that we cannot see your location. That's why you have to stand and fire in the air. So that we can bring the helicopter to you. To which Isaac says that it is against our protocol, and doing so could put us at risk. After this, Isaac listens carefully to the words of that officer. Then he realizes that the officer he is talking to does not have an American accent. This leads Isaac to believe that the sniper Zuba has hacked his radio. And talking to him as an officer. That's why now Isaac doesn't listen to her. Then Zuba starts asking her questions, and says that I want to know you better. Here Isaac tries to fix his radio again, but it is still not working. Meanwhile, Zuba repeatedly asks Isaac nonsense, on which Isaac refuses to talk to him. Then Juba says that if you don't talk to me, I will shoot your wounded comrade. So Isaac agrees to negotiate with him. Meanwhile, Isaac maps the ground in order to pinpoint Zuba's location. Then Juba tells him that I am not a soldier, but a normal person. And want to save my country. He then starts asking Isaac about his family. To which Isaac says that, it is personal so I will not answer it. Also making fun of Zuba, he says that you are killing those people who are building Schultz pipelines here to develop your country. And increasing your economy. Hearing this, Zuba starts laughing and tells Isaac that whatever money you have spent here, we will send it back to USA. This is how time passes. And Zuba asks many questions. But Isaac refuses to answer personal questions. Whereupon Zuba threatens to shoot Matthews once again. Now because Isaac had known, that Zuba can go to any extent. That's why he gets ready to answer her words. Then Zuba asks Isaac, who was the real owner of the scope you have? And how did he die? Isaac is shocked to hear this. Because only he and Matthews knew about that scope. 
Here Isaac realizes that he and Matthews have been here ever since. Since then Juba had been listening to their conversation. Meanwhile, Isaac starts looking around using his scope, then he notices that a radio is lying near a dead body. So Isaac goes to the edge of the wall to pick up the radio. And tries to lift it with a stick. But he cannot reach that radio. After this Isaac feels thirsty. So he tries to drink water from his bottle. But then he sees that there is a hole in his bottle due to which all his water is over. To which Juba tells him that I intentionally shot at your bottle. So that you die of thirst, and also shot at you so that you could not call any help. Apart from this, he tells that your death should not happen suddenly, but slowly. That's why I shot you in the leg. That's when Isaac notices the bullet that he pulled out of his leg. Isaac takes a closer look at the bullet, and tries to find out from Zuba what model gun he has. Also he tells Zuba, that you are a terrorist. To which Juba laughs and says that the terrorists are not me but you people. Because you are coming to our country, doing to us and killing our people. Meanwhile, Isaac finds out from his calculations that Zuba is hiding in a pile of garbage. That's why he tries to find it with his scope. Here Isaac thinks that Zuba has been hiding in the garbage for too long, in this heat. This means, that he is a very professional shooter. While Juba says that I am not a sniper, but a normal person. To which Isaac says, from the accent of your speaking, it seems that you have been an officer of the American army. And now you are killing us by giving it to us. Then Zuba tells that it is not so. I only kill those who attack our people first. Here Isaac tells him his story, that I was friends with Dean when I was young. Who was the best person. After growing up, we both joined the army together. In fact, the scope that Isaac has is that of his friend Dean. After whose death he keeps him with him. Well then Isaac's condition starts getting worse due to thirst and fatigue. Then Zuba tells him that when you die, then I will cut off your tongue and put it on your chest. Isaac faints after hearing Zuba's words. Then when he regains consciousness, he puts on his jacket and helmet on his rifle. And starts waving the rifle over the wall, to trick Zuba. But Juba doesn't fall for his bluff. Just then, Isaac's helmet accidentally falls on the other side of the wall. So now Isaac could not protect his head. Which makes him very sad. Time passes like this, but Isaac does not give up. After which he goes to a dead body, avoiding Juba's bullets. And from there picking up a bag and radio comes back behind the wall. Where he finds water in a bag, and some candy, which he immediately eats. But when he checks the radio, he finds that even that radio is not working. Meanwhile, Zuba shoots at the wall, completely destroying Isaac's scope. Then suddenly Isaac hears some sound in his earpiece. From which he comes to know that the voice belongs to Matthews. And he's still alive. After which Isaac tells Matthews, that the sniper is hidden in the garbage dump. Hearing this, Matthews uses a piece of glass to see the pile of garbage. And then starts moving slowly, to pick up his rifle, so that Zuba doesn't see him. Here, by talking to Isaac Zuba, he keeps his attention on himself. Then Isaac learns that Zuba was a teacher. And when the American army invaded his country, all his students were killed. So he's killing all the American people, in revenge. Also, Isaac learns that the wall he is hiding behind was Zuba's school. Which was completely broken in the war. Here Zuba asks Isaac, why do you still keep that damaged scope with you? But Isaac refuses to answer her. Dot to which Juba threatens him to shoot Matthews again. So to save him, Isaac tells that this scope belongs to my friend Dean. The one who died because of me, and I still consider myself responsible for his death. In fact, Isaac really feels sorry for Dean. And he kept his scope in memory of Dean. Meanwhile Matthews takes out his rifle, and starts firing into the garbage dump. Then Isaac also shoots in the air. So that Zuba's attention could not go on Matthews. But when he loads his gun. Then Zuba shoots at him. Due to which Matthews gets shot on the shoulder. After which Matthews starts coming towards Isaac, to save his life. And Isaac comes ashore to help her. But then Juba shoots Matthews in the head, killing him on the spot. The death of Matthews leaves the project shattered. And tells Juba, that I want to go to my house. To which Zuba tells Isaac, that if you really want to go, then I won't shoot you. But Isaac did not believe his words at all. That's why he hides behind the wall. After this Zuba asks Isaac, why have you stayed in Iraq when the war is over? To which Isaac says, that I don't know anything, I just want to go home. Then Zuba says that as long as you keep telling me your story, till then I will not shoot you. So Isaac starts talking to him, and confesses, that he killed Dean. It is revealed here, that Isaac was trying to kill his enemy. Then he accidentally shot Dean. And then he lied to everyone that Dean was killed by terrorists. While talking to Zuba, Isaac hears some noises from his radio. So he quickly comes to the radio, where his basemen are trying to contact him. 
Isaac is overjoyed to hear the voices of his comrades. But then he learns that his radio is completely out of order. That's why now he will not be able to contact anyone. Just then, Isaac hears the voice of Zuba, who was asking for help from Bess, using Isaac's name. Hearing this, Isaac realizes that Zuba has been here for a long time. And he deliberately hacks their radio and calls the backup team for help. And then kills them easily. That is, after killing the people present on the site, it was Juba who called the backup team. So Isaac from Bess, and Matthews were sent here. Similarly, Juba was killing the American people by trapping them. Val Isaac faints again due to exhaustion. After some time, a crow comes and sits on the wound on his leg. And starts eating it. Which hurts Isaac a lot. And he wakes up. Isaac then uses a stick and rope to pick up Matthew's rifle. And starts aiming at that garbage pile. Meanwhile, he hears the sound of helicopters coming there to help him. But Isaac knew that his companions would be trapped in Zuba's trap. So, to save his comrades, he brings down that wall. Due to which a lot of dust starts flying there, and it escapes from the eyes of Juba. Isaac then gets up, and starts firing bullets into the garbage dump. Only then he notices that Zuba is not firing at him. Which makes him think that he has killed Zuba. Meanwhile, helicopters also come near him. And quickly laying him on the stretcher, they start taking him from there. Then Isaac tries to tell them about Zuba, that they should check Zuba in the garbage dump before they leave. But because of the noise of the helicopter, no one can hear him. Then suddenly Zuba opens fire on the helicopter, killing all the soldiers one by one. Due to which the helicopter falls rapidly on the ground. And Isaac also dies in this accident. At the end of the story, Zuba hacks the USA lines again, and pretending to be an American soldier, calls another backup team for help. That is, when that backup team comes here, Juba will kill them too. And with this the movie ends here.